Welcome to the podcast today, Booty Bands More Than Fitness. We're excited to have you on. We just did a live on Instagram where you showed us some awesome recipes. Welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. Join us because we're making it possible for busy women to sculpt and tone in just 15 minutes a day. It's your time to celebrate you, unleash your empowered self, and step back into your confidence. You can visit our store, bootybands.com, for the best female fitness products out there and subscribe so you get notifications when every episode drops. It's fall time, so pumpkin spice, good way to obviously get you not only your vitamins, minerals, nutrients, your fiber, your protein, but it's also good. Even your kids will enjoy it. So take us through um, what that recipe is, and uh, so everyone that's listening can immediately write down this recipe. We started, when I made this recipe, I used it with a vanilla protein powder. Um, and we just did it, and my daughter just made a version with the chocolate protein powder. So just to let you know, they can go, you can use both. Always add in the protein powder because we need that for our energy to help us build lean muscle and to help burn fat throughout the day and balance our, our calorie needs. So I also like to add in eight ounces of almond milk. It's a good base for your smoothie. Um, about two tablespoons to maybe a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. Take in pumpkin puree. Um, and I start with open can and I just put in about two to four tablespoons. Once that can is open, I've got a whole thing left over. And so I'll put them in ice cube trays and I will um, freeze each, freeze them up. And they're between one to two tablespoons each cube. So I've thrown in um, two cubes, which equals four tablespoons. So we've got the pumpkin puree and I add in half a banana quarter cup of sweet potato, raw sweet potato. So that gives us some added um, nutrients, some added flavor, a little creaminess as well and sweetness. And it does not taste like sweet potato, half of the side of an apple to add in that real fall flavor for you. I add in, so this is where we get this pumpkin spice, a half a teaspoon, a pumpkin spice mix and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a teaspoon vanilla extract. And then optional for some extra anti-inflammatories, I add in about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. And a nice surprise too is a handful of spinach. Spinach will just sort of melt into the fl- into your smoothie. You won't taste it. You don't, don't taste sweet potato either. It just adds to the flavor and gives you extra nutrients. And then for the protein powder, like I was saying, you can do either vanilla or the chocolate. The, and I've used the booty bands, vanilla and chocolate. We did the two versions. Give it a good, good swirl in a good quality blender. And you have a filling smoothie to go for your mornings, after school, after work, after a workout. No, I love that. So thanks for sharing that. One of my favorite things that I really learned on that was you could use raw sweet potato cubed and have it frozen and just throw it into your smoothies. And how, how cool was that? The other thing is frozen cubed pumpkin puree that you could actually uh, have as like ice cube trays and just pour your pumpkin puree in there. So that was really cool. There was just um, some good insight and um, you said it tastes amazing. So let me ask yeah. you, um, trying the booty bands and barbells protein, the chocolate or the vanilla, what was your thoughts on it or your feedback as far as the, um, the taste and uh, the nutrient value and everything on it? So I'll start, I'll speak, speak specifically to the vanilla because I mean, I love chocolate and I do it all the time. Um, but vanilla I love because it's so versatile. I like to vary things up all the time. And so this week and last week I've been, um, using different mixes from berries, um, a berry tropical mix to the pumpkin spice one I was telling you about. And to me, I really like how smooth and creamy that it mixes up. It's smooth. It's not gritty. So every time that I've done it so far, I'm pleased by, I'll be driving along in my car. I get in the car and I'm going to work, you know, and I'm like, oh, this is so good. And it's has just the right amount of sweetness and it is filling, um, but not overly filling. That's awesome. That's good to hear. Um, So let's go ahead and dive into a little bit more about you. So Robin Kimball, she's a copywriter, health and transformational coach. She's now training into running your first marathon, it sounds like, how you had this transformation you said in your midlife years. So tell us a little bit about that and why you have now focused so much on your health more than you ever have. Right. So 
Um, you know, over the years, I've been, I've always been active. And then, you know, through motherhood and life and busyness, you know, those things kind of go up and down. I did get divorced, went through this, you know, personal transformation and, you know, started letting myself go down. And then the pandemic hit and I was starting to feel very uncomfortable with myself, not making time for myself, you know, doing everything for everybody else. Uh, I ended up putting on a few little pounds, so, you know, nothing great, but to the point I wasn't feeling good with myself, you know, uncomfortable with myself. And then I did end up getting sick with COVID. It surprised me as how sick that I could get from that because I'm a relatively healthy person. I eat a healthy diet. You know, I did, I was exercising. That really kickstarted my journey, starting step by step by step. I started really slow, you know, adding in all the good foods. I just started um, walking was all I could do. I could just walk a little bit, but then, you know, every week I could add on another minute or so. I then learned about the importance of nutrition, having the right balance of foods that worked for me and learning what to cut out, what was causing um, the inflammation, what was causing the bloat, um, what was causing my headaches. So I was, I was able to unlock a lot of that by consistent step-by-step I need to put myself first in order to be good for everybody else. Where previously, you know, through, you know, life, career, relationships, I was always putting myself last. And it is a mind shift, um, something you need to work on every day. But once you ma I made that shift, it helped everywhere. Not just, you know, did I lose the weight? Not just that I, I gained energy, my skin cleared, my headaches cleared. I felt so much better and more able and present for my, my everyday life. I was doing better in my work. It's really cool to kind of see your journey as far as decently healthy, but you know, you're, you've lost 30 pounds now and you have way more energy. Your mood is a lot better now. You're, you have a lot more clarity and more direction. And uh, it's interesting how, yeah, COVID allowed you to kind of have that wake up call towards your health of going, huh? Yeah, I really got quite sick with this. And I really want to start taking this as a priority. So um, the next thing I want to go into it was the gut health on here. That's been a pretty hot topic lately in the health mm -hmm. industry. And a lot of people, I think sometimes don't really focus on gut health until it becomes this massive mm -hmm. issue in their life. And so tell us a little bit about gut health as far as what you've learned. I know that you've gone to um, the Integrative Nutrition's health coaching training program. So did you pick up stuff there or what could you teach us today about our gut? Mm -hmm. So gut um, health actually you know, actually has to do more with adding in <laughs> to, to what we're doing. And so some of those things are, you know, I know many of us have heard of probiotics, um, but that's not necessarily has to come from a pill, even though that's a great source. Um, you have to be careful about getting quality probiotics, but in our foods, there are great ways to get the probiotics by um, naturally fermented foods. So um, for example, the most common would be pickles, but not just your general pickle that's made in a brine with vinegar that doesn't have, that's not creating that natural fermentation is what's creating those, um, those yeast and probiotics naturally it comes from, they, you know, bubble up and, fer and ferment and they create that probiotic, which feeds the good bacteria in our, our guts and our creates that balanced system because we, you know, it's made up of the good and the bad bacteria. And our standard diets, our standard way of being with all the excess sugar, because the sugar feeds those, the, and, and they'll pro proliferate much more with the sugars, um, the refined flours, the refined ultra processed flours and grains um, feed off of that sugar and the bad bacteria end up taking over. And so we're, we have an imbalanced system. So um, other fermented foods that are really great to add into your diet um, include like sauerkrauts, um, you, again, the naturally fermented um, yogurts. Yogurt is a great, you know, quality one now, but, but make sure you looking at the, the sugar content. Some yogurts out there are like eating a candy bar. Um, turn it around, look at the sugar. You don't want out any of these added sugars because you're defeating the purpose. And they'll also say on there, if they have live active cultures. Um, other great um, 
ingredients, things that we can do for our, for our guts are ginger, cinnamon, garlic is a really great one to add into your um, diet. So it's, so for the gut health, it's more about adding and not taking away, except if, if we're talking about sugar. What would be some side effects that commonly you hear with people having gut issues? So some stomach upset a lot of times, um, and it can go either way, either um, constipation or, you know, the, the other, um, a lot of times it's a feeling of a nervous stomach, or you just, you know, don't, you're getting bloated after you eat. A lot of times it comes out in your skin. So you have this imbalance, you have this extra bad and create the sugars and you'll see um, acne come out a lot in your skin. Uh, so those are things that you can look out for and headaches, chronic headaches um, are often associated with a, with a gut imbalance. One thing that I want to leave with that I thought was really fascinating for those that have children and they're trying to create this healthy lifestyle, but children, and I, I think it's very hard because some women feel like they have to live this lifestyle of healthy for them. And then this lifestyle of, okay, I've now got to make kid version foods when really it's about blending it. And what I like about Robin's smoothies, you mentioned these can also be kid friendly. And so you've created these little packets where you can pop them in the freezer, which by the way, saves you money because you're not putting them in the fridge and then they expire soon. So she's opening our mind, you guys, to these new possibilities of creating smoothies in these little packets. So Robin, can you take us through a couple variations that you do with your smoothie pack? Sure. Yeah. So I'll, I always throw in, um, the spinach that I was telling you about. So I do a handful or so, depending on how much I really want in there, but um, a handful is a cup, you know, a good measurement to start with. So when we talk specifically about including our kids in these, um, it's easy, well, bananas are a standard there. Um, they add that creaminess. So I will add in um, whatever fruits that let my kids like. And so I try not to overload on fruits because you're gonna get a lot of sugar. So strawberries, Berries go heavier on the berries. Um, there are less sugar and less carbs and they're good filling. They have the antioxidants and, and so much. So the strawberries, the blueberries, the raspberries, then from there, you can add in your protein powders. Um, I like to add in um, a scoop of peanut butter or almond butter, or I don't know if you're familiar with the powdered versions. The PB2 is one that I like to use a lot. And that will cut back if you're, if, if you're watching this and it is a concern of yours, but it will cut back on the calories and the fat, you know, a lot of times that we need our healthy fats. So these are really good things to keep in mind. And I, I, I don't, you know, really advocate for low fat, just keep your eye on it. Another version, um, if you want to make it more tropical, I like to add in um, pineapple and a great um, little kick. If you like a little kick is some ginger, either frozen or, you know, fresh grated ginger. Um, it's great for um, more of a tropical type of taste. So then on the chocolate side, we could go with the chocolate protein powder, or you could add in a scoop of cocoa. You can have your banana, add the cherries. I love to do banana, chocolate, cherry. And then if you want, you could add in the peanut butter or the almond. And that's a really, really popular one with the kids because it tastes like they're having a milkshake and you're giving them the protein um, to satisfy their bodies. They're not going to go want to go get a grab a candy bar. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. I'll go ahead and pop a few recipes down below. So that way you guys can easily grab that. Now, sometimes when you're listening, if you weren't writing it down, I'll just make it easy for the listeners to go grab those. So thanks for sharing. And so then when you have these frozen packets, what you do is you'll just toss it in the blender and mix it in with either almond milk with your protein powder. Is that usually what happens? Yes, exactly. So I'll have my packs made up. They're in the freezer. So when I come in the morning, whatever I want, I'll grab a pack. I Throw in eight ounces, uh, you know, which is a cup of the almond milk in the blender. If I don't have any water, it's fine, or coconut water, whatever you have. Throw your pack in, all frozen, ready to go. So it makes it, and the freezing is really good because um, it gives you more oomph to it. Throw that in, and then you could add in any extras. So but you, when you have your, your pack made up, you're 90% done. So you could add in extra, you know, spice if you wanted, or anything else. And, th and that's it. It's that easy. It's, you know, quick and easy. It makes your mornings so much more manageable when you know already ahead of time that you've got something ready to go. 
So it saves you time. It saves you money. It's super quick. You know, you can just hurry up and jump in and, and throw that into a blender, add some milk, some protein, you're ready to go. And mm -hmm. how great it is for even children too, you know? So thanks for jumping on and just sharing those little bits of information that sometimes we forget, right? They're so simple, but sometimes yeah. those simple things we forget so often. And so um, my takeaway is I'm going to start cutting up raw sweet potatoes and start freezing those more often mm -hmm. and also pumpkin puree. Those are my two yes. takeaways. But <laughs> I'm super excited and I'm ready to go try that pumpkin smoothie. You're the ones that you talked about too. Um, the uh, strawberry cream shake. Oh my gosh. Like there's like yeah. several others I'm going to go ahead and, and jot down too. So thanks so much for your information. Um, so Robin, tell us if somebody is interested and they're really going, Hey, I love the value that Robin's given today. They want to follow you join. You have maybe a freebie you want to give them. Go ahead and share a little bit about what you are and where they can find you. The, the best place to find me right now is on Facebook. So I'm on you know, Robin Kimball. I have a link um, in my banner that I can get you that five clean eating hacks for weight loss and gut health that will show, you know, get you started. I'm, a, you know, I work as a, a health and transformation coach, as you know, as you uh, mentioned in the beginning and a copywriter, and I'm also a news producer. Awesome. All right. So I'll make it easy for everyone. Everything that she just said, I'm going to go ahead and just create the links down below so you can go ahead and follow and join her. So thank you again, Robin, for your time today, for your wisdom, for everything about nutrition. I We haven't had a nutrition call of somebody actually teaching us through some smoothie recipes. So it's kind of mm -hmm. fun to see that. So thanks again for your time and uh, look forward to trying out these recipes. Thank you for having me. It was, it was my pleasure. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, well, you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts. Um, and, you know, one tip I really like to do is, like I was mentioning to you earlier, I love to make packets. So I'll have all my ingredients put together in advance in the freezer. And this is getting a little melty because it's out. But I'll, I'll, I'll chop everything up. If I don't make a packet, I at least have my ingredients um, prepped and ready to go and frozen. So it makes my mornings much easier and I just throw them in the blender and go.